What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today, very interesting matchup. Another 3-7 and seven team and they also happen to be a division opponent. So, like, kind of crazy. But, uh, we want to lose. <laughs> uh, we have Daniel Jones at quarterback right now. Davis Mills, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do with him, honestly. 77 overall playing down to 76 with morale. Nico Collins has been playing exceptionally. Sammy Watkins has been playing okay. Uh, there's just a bunch uh, right now that it's just hard to like really process with this team. Um, we're good in some departments and horrible in others. Like our uh, secondary isn't all that bad right now. It's not horrible, but we continue to get cooked. So we need to get better. We do that by letting go of Desmond King. His uh, contract is up after this year, and I don't think that we are planning on re-signing him. Also, you hear, this, you hear the chair, right? This chair will be gone. Thank God uh, that it'll be gone. But Jerome Ford hasn't really played for us much. Uh, I would be fine on a two-year deal. Um, if he has interest in our team, what what is like what's low risk, medium risk? All right, we'll give him we'll give him a long term backup running back role with this sort of money. We'll see if he takes that. He does, so he'll take a long term backup uh running back role. Still, don't want to start negotiations with either of these two. Considering I don't know how they're going to play, and we'll just have to see for the rest of the season. Um, had a couple of long episodes the last two, uh, just because we've been going over so much before the uh, the season, or before the game. So uh, we can go ahead and excuse the hair, by the way, too. This left side, like, bedhead goes crazy sometimes. I did not want to click on scouts. But we will go on prospects and look around. Uh, they are up... To 70% all of the edge rushers, considering they were my national focus. And yeah, Zach Terrell just looks way too good. I don't think that we can really uh, afford to lose, m miss out on a guy like that. Evan Chamberlain's still good, but I'd rather have uh, Zach Terrell miles ahead of this guy. Uh, we'll, we'll get to see their, their true talent, I think, uh, by the end of this season. Also, what are my... So, Percy Edwards... I think that he was one of the outside linebackers that I used a focus thing on. Uh, looks pretty good, all things considered. Doesn't look crazy good, but still looks good. Uh, keep looking down the board for 95. Oh, no, it's just outside linebackers are really highly scouted. So, interesting. Brandon Shepard looks good. Uh, he is a power rusher with uh, B finesse moves. That's really good. Really good to see. Uh, A awareness, B block shedding, C catching, B finesse moves, B hit power, A to B impact blocking, B pursuit, B play rec, C tackling. It just looks really good. A lot of good players in this draft, and I guess we'll have to keep looking around as time goes on. But uh, I think we can go ahead and set up with our weekly strategy and try to uh, defend this medium pass. Because that's how they've kind of destroyed us the last time we played them. They, uh, I think they they beat us. I can't remember exactly what happened, but uh, I remember we were getting killed with uh, Trevor Lawrence uh, under center, just throwing in the intermediate area. Also has thrown some brain-dead interceptions to us in the past, so we'll go ahead and try to uh, try to improve on that <laughs> and uh, try to ca capitalize on that and get an interception in this game. Go ahead, some training. I'm sure that we will have a... Um, we'll have... Uh, upgrades after this as well so uh just something to watch out for as upgrade players i have okay I, I will make a confession i put the um developmental sliders like the xp sliders up just a tad not too much but like i think they're at 115 percent it just progresses faster more realistic guys like offensive linemen can have breakout seasons and only go up however much so just i don't know i, I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish by saying all that, but it's just something that I, I had to come clean about. Uh, Ham, Sa, Nasir uh just right outside linebacker we picked up. Uh, he plays a bit of everything, but I think that will put him into the pass rusher role up to a 69 overall. 
Man coverage and zone coverage go up. Andy Isabella's here. CJ Gardner Johnson as well. Interesting one. But we will go ahead and look at Andy Isabella. 96 speed. Could be a better route runner for sure. Um, short route running right there. And it doesn't. I mean, he plays a lot over the middle though. I don't know. We'll, we'll just do playmaker as his speed can uh, help him out after the catch anyway. So. Medium route goes up as well, so that's pretty much where he runs most of the time. Whenever he's out there, he's barely out there, especially with the addition of Anthony Schwartz. Uh, we brought in zone coverage playing down three overalls. I don't know why, but run support, we will go ahead and upgrade that. 88 overall, CJ Gardner-Johnson. Uh, yeah, and I think that'll be it. Let's just upgrade these guys. Von Cook, good depth edge rusher. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. All right, looking at this uh, Jags offense and defense, uh, Danny Dimes under center. Can be rough sometimes. We are playing in NRG, it looks like, so home field advantage. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, this Jacksonville team, if we are allowed to. T-Law, obviously, under center. They did bring in Tyler he Taylor Heineke uh, behind him. Snoop Connor, we saw play last time. Really interesting how uh, ETN's really going to play out. Jakob Johnson, Christian Kirk, LaVisca Chanel, James Walton is here as well. Also another uh, rookie receiver. The Joshua Lloyd, never heard of that name in my life. Cam Robinson at left tackle, Connor McGovern, right guard, Billy Price, Brandon Sheriff, obviously pretty good. Juwan Taylor, be the right tackle of the future. Evan Riddick, one of the guys we looked at very carefully. Uh, 91 accelerations, really good. It just he was really good coming out of the draft. Really liked him. We did miss him. Eighty-seven tackle, hit power seventy-six, finesse moves out of seventy-seven. So uh, not something that you like to miss, but actually ended up missing him. Uh, so it, it sucks, but yeah, it's all right. I'm I'm not too bummed about it, but it's all right. We can get through it. Trayvon Walker also still here, playing very well in real life. Devin Lloyd, Foyer. Luicon Chad Muma also developing very fast. So just uh, some things to watch out for. Uh, Shaquille Griffin, Darius Williams, Cordell McSellen, Gregory Jr. This year Adderley's at one of their safety spots. And Keanu Neal at the strong safety spot. Already replaced both Andrew Sisko and I don't know the other one. I don't know who the other one. I don't know who else is playing at a stronger free safety for him. I think it was strong safety was Andrew Cisco, and then I don't know the other one who was playing on the other side of him. Oh, I forgot to look at uh, T Law's numbers on the season, but I'd assume that they're pretty good, especially with the season and games that I've seen. His receivers put up has to be pretty good. Uh, wide open Christian Kirk. Uh, that's just on Desmond King, I'd assume. I uh, just can't keep up with him, I guess. I don't know what the whole deal is, but I mean. They paid him for a reason. Christian Kirk's making that making that money. That's for sure. And that's a sack for Jonathan Grenard. A rare Jonathan Grenard sacks just despite his like 80 finesse moves. He's got a lot of them. He's really good. Uh it should be really good most of the time, but end up like not really seeing him all too often get after the quarterback as Max Warwick will bring down uh T Law now. So interesting position here for the uh the Jags here is they have to go far down the field to get that one as uh they will get some yardage but uh not enough as they will be stopped and we will return the kick. And if you guys didn't know by now the uh the the superstar center that we have Corey Weston we got in like the fourth or However much round. We got him way, way, way down the board. Ended up being a superstar center. And also, Isaiah Pacheco has taken over as our starting running back. Uh, very impulsive decision, I know. But can we make that throw and catch? They will say it's incomplete, but Daniel Jones made the throw. Um, just couldn't keep the feet in bounds. And uh, probably should have ran it there. But I figured that they load the box in defensive line. So uh, Carlton's bum ass will kick this one away. And Parker, who had a 
a defensive touchdown on a forced fumble on a kick return last game. I don't know if you guys are interested, but go watch that one. It was a very thrilling episode. It was a fun one. I liked that game. The game was fun. And very good play there from Dion Gray. Breaking up the pass late. Do like to see that. Uh, Dion Gray probably shouldn't be playing, in all honesty. It'll be another sack, and it'll be another Jonathan Grenard one. Uh, just trying to get that sack, or uh, trying to get that screen to work. Hasn't yet. Christian Harris has been sniffing it out, and uh, Aquidi Muhammad seems to be containing it as well, very well. But I guess we'll have to see how... All that works. Bobby Biddle juked out of his shoes, but uh, Christian Harris won't be. Christian Harris lays down ETN. I mean, Christian Harris has been an all-around stud for us this season. Uh, no doubt that we have to uh, keep him long-term no matter what. It's kind of just one of those things. He's just one of those guys. Can we get to the edge here? Doesn't look like we can. I thought we'd be able to beat number 91. Are you kidding? Is that Arden Key? No, it's somewhat Hamlin. But, I mean, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now, bro? I don't know why I just said that, but Isaiah Pacheco will find himself wide open. Just turn up field, get towards the Nico Collins block. And, yeah, the only person that has touched the ball other than Daniel Jones on this offense has been, you guessed it, Isaiah Pacheco. I said that we need to run through him, and man, Greg Little's down again. Are you kidding? He's been down every single game he's ever played in his career for the Texans. Damian Pierce is in due to a tired, uh, a very tired uh, Isaiah Pacheco. So a little bit interesting here, as we just have to throw it up and away. Uh, pass blocking's not lasting forever. Isaiah Pacheco's back in, and we trust him a little bit more than Damian Pierce to get the yardage that we do need breaks off a Trayvon Walker uh, tackle Kirk Lott the rookie left tackle I think uh, we'll just to bring in Charlie Heck I don't see why not um, looking at Nico Collins here as kind of the main target Cooks his guy uh, couldn't make anything happen probably should have uh, bullet passed that but I mean Still, I think it was a good option to throw it to him. Put him on a slant now, and, I mean, running out of this bunch formation, maybe they suspect a uh, run, but we actually have a Nico Collins uh, pass, quick pass out to Nico Collins, as he also probably needs to be involved a little bit more. Kenyon Green does his job there. Isaiah Pacheco already running for 29 yards here in just the first, uh, just the first quarter. So it is a little bit interesting uh, the way that this has gone so far. And Isaiah Pacheco needs to keep running upfield. Had his man beat, and Larson, the backup for the for the injured Kirk Lott, will go out. So curious as to who will come back in now for him. Isaiah Pacheco still catch that thing, dumbass. What are you doing stumbling? Uh, I guess we can keep Larson in. We don't really have a choice. He's been good, I guess, at times. But, geez, we are really out of options. Is that Traquan Smith fighting for the first down? like to see that. We will go with a RPO here. And we will run the ball, even though it might have been the wrong right there. Just nothing doing in the, in the past game on that, that play right there. They were both pretty well contained. I do want to keep someone underneath. That'd probably be Brevin Jordan for me. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco, I know I already have him running out. We'll try to beat Trayvon. No, that's Foyer Aluakon. I think Foyer Sad Aluakon. I don't know like the proper pronunciation for his name, but I know a lot of people say it a lot of different ways. So, Will motion Isaiah Pacheco out right. And, of course, he won't get there by the time that the corner gets on him. Or the, the quarter ends. Either or. Uh, pick your poison. It really doesn't matter. We will go for this play right here. I'd like to see Nico Collins here. Let's see if it's uh, if it's man. It is. They are screaming. Boye Oluokon will go down. We will try a field goal here. Tyler Bass should have it pretty much bagged. Uh, been solid all year long. This one's up, and this one is really good. 3 nothing. Jags ball. And here on defense, probably try to blitz the quarterback and just get in after him. 
first run of the day we've seen from uh, from the the Jags is they have not been running the ball whatsoever, and that may be a, like a struggle for them as we've been giving up quite a bit of yards recently to the run. So obviously not that great. Jalen Petrie gets cooked by I think a rookie. So uh, not a good look. Jalen Petrie's all fired up after that one though. Uh, we will use your Kevin Waddle here. Try to uh, shoot a gap or something. Uh, who was that that just? Missed the tackle in the first place. Uh, was it number twenty seven? Was that like a f Metu? Was that was that was that you? I don't know who it was, but someone missed the first tackle, which I'm very pissed about. Kevin Waddle out underneath, and we'll play both. Alquadine Muhammad in the backfield. Uh, for our fourth sack already on the game, so we're looking very good QB pressure wise. Uh, they keep finding themselves deep in the uh. Deep in the pocket, constantly. Missed the throw to uh, Austin Hooper, just not on the same page. I think that's who that is, so. I don't know. We're, we're, we're looking to make another third and 23 stop, making another third and long. Just happens to be that way, and it'll actually be Blake Cashman. Getting to the quarterback now. Is he, Trevor Lawrence just needs to get that ball away. That's for sure. Uh, fifth sack on the day. I don't know why I keep calling uh, Melifonwu, a Fitu Melifonwu. I keep calling him Metu. I don't I don't know why. A basketball player, but I mean, like, I don't know why I keep doing it. Chicago actually lo loses to the Lions. Is the Lions? I mean, despite a very good uh, game from uh, Justin Fields, the rookie Delgado will bring that one in. Nico Collins trying to get to the outside has his first rush. I think on the season, he hasn't been uh, playing in that slot role for too long either. Just looking to use him in all sorts of different ways. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but I mean, just throwing that one away. 4 of 11, 34 yards. Definitely not ideal. Uh, not perfect by any means. But, I mean, whatever. Do have a wide open Sammy Watkins. Probably should have ran after the catch. Thought someone would already be going down for him, but I guess not. Um, Traquan Smith probably was my first read. Isn't open. Open now. And it'll actually be picked off. Just a good jumped route by McSellen there. Cordell McSellen. Sammy Watkins on the chase down does get him. Uh, yeah, the rookie making a great play here for the, um, for the Jags. Just uh, picked off pass there from... Mr. Uh, I don't. Oh my God, Mr. Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes didn't have a good game last game. Looking to redeem himself already, not off to a good start. Um, just doesn't have the time, time of day for that. And wide open, uh, Lavisca Chenault, six of eight, sixty-five yards. So when he does throw that thing, it's pretty good. But when he doesn't throw that thing, he sits in the pocket all day and gets sacked. So. Got to kind of find a, a even balance between the two. Christian Harris in the backfield. Not quite in the backfield, but after just a gain of one from uh, Mr. ETN right there. Uh, yeah, Christian Harris is on it. And we will blitz now. Trying to really uh, establish pressure on the quarterback as that needs to be very important to what we do here. And Derek Stingley Jr. just going to wrestle him out of bounds, I guess. Uh, Chanel was not going down. Could be a, a potential uh, good player for us as Derek Stingley Jr. Could be a, a superstar, but I mean, I don't really see that happening. Christian Harris, good pass breakup on the tight end. Austin Hooper there. Uh, just locked down defense from our linebackers right now. Nothing is really getting past them all too much. As I say that, Christian Kirk in for the walk-in touchdown. We'll have very little time to score. All right, back on offense now, trying to really get a tempo down. As, uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. Danny Dimes on the scramble. We'll get up and away for seven and out of bounds. Do you like to see that? Um, we do have all three of our timeouts. We are very good about that. Going off of play action, they will bring the blitz. They will get us down. That is really unfortunate. Uh, we'll see if we can get gain... Uh, good yardage back. If not, I think that'll just have to be the half. Sammy Watkins goes up and mosses a dude. 
We'll call a timeout now. Sammy Watkins, what a play. I was expecting an interception there. I don't know what to tell you. Very good play from our very veteran receiver. Former first-round pick for the Buffalo Bills coming in clutch right there. And Nico Collins working up the middle of the field. We'll keep going, keep going, keep going. Want to keep this one alive right here. Try to uh, throw out. This one's intercepted from Cordell McSellen. Um, yeah, that that's just poor by me. Trying to force it out of bounds too early without trying to look for even a receiver to be open. But, you know, whatever. Try to uh, lay the wood. Gives me CJ Gardner-Johnson there. And that'll be the half. We will go look at how the other teams are doing. And Jesus, that is a big man. Uh, yeah. I think our first season, season one, last season, we traded for Quinn Miners in the middle of it. So far, it's been pretty good for us. 92 passing yard, 40, 43 rushing yards, 5.4 per play. Our offense has been dominant against Jacksonville's defense, but uh, just haven't managed to put the points up on the board with the uh, interceptions. Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry... Uh, Nick Westbrook, Akina, all having okay games. Nothing too special. Matt Ryan's kind of eh. Benched in real life for Sam Ellinger, uh, former Texan or former Texas guy. To attack of Viola, doing really well. They got Tony Pollard. I like that fit a lot. Darius Slayton, also balling out. Didn't get to see the New York Giants side of things. Las Vegas and Kansas City. Pat Mahomes cooking it up. Jamison Crowder over there now. Hunter Renfro and Derek Carr off to a slow start in just the first half. Uh, Derek Carr's only thrown the ball four times. Back to our game now. I don't know. Do we receive this? Yeah, we do. So we'll be receiving this kickoff right here. Might just leave it in the end zone. Don't see a point on bringing this one out. And we'll have it on first down. Also, making a change at quarterback. Davis Mills can come and play the second half. I don't see why not. He's, I mean... I, I, we'll, we'll see what he's up to. Uh, we don't have really the mobility that we do with uh, Daniel Jones. But uh, so far, off to a good start. Cordell McSellen is all over the place for this this offense, right? Or this defense. He's been very hard to stop. Very hard to account for. This one, I mean, pressure got in immediately. Maybe on one of the backup, backup offensive linemen that are in for one of the injured ones. Raycon Smith will have him break away from the pack. Let's see what we can do here on third and six. Just a good throw. Traquan Smith can't come down with it. One of three, four yards. Not too bad, all things considered. Could be better. Went away from the run game. Didn't even think about it. Isaiah Pacheco probably needs to be involved a lot more than what he has been. But, uh, yeah. Try to lay him out here with uh, Biddle and Parker. Two backup corners. Played well so far, but yeah, back on defense now, and we're going to try to lock him up, try to sack the quarterback or whatever it is that we have the opportunity to do, and yeah, it will be a sack. al Qadeen Muhammad for his second. The only other guy that doesn't have a sack on the defensive line is the one that is most productive for us, and that is Rasheem Green. Rasheem Green has probably had the team high sacks the last two years, uh, this year, and Hopefully, I mean, this year has to be Rasheem Green. And al Muhammad brings him down. This one will be a safety if the flag is against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Holding on the offense. This one will go as a safety. And, I mean, weird formation here. Why are they squibbing it? What in the world is happening? Anywho, uh, Bobby Biddle on the return side of things. Try to turn this one out to the 33. Five to seven, weird uh, line there, but the quarterback needs to throw the ball away. I don't think that uh, Jacksonville has been implementing that in practices or anything. And number, f is that Fadikasi? Fadikasi gets off his block just at the right time and just coincidentally runs right into Pacheco and they both go down. We'll have a chance to run it here and Traquan Smith does nothing uh, blocking wise. Isaiah Pacheco. Man, he's got to he's got to run a little bit better than than that if he's going to be making a, a start anytime soon. He hasn't really showed much any flair and that's why we benched Davis Mills just missing wide open throws like that. 
we'll see what they line up in if we line up in something like this. I think that this is doable right here. Uh, yeah, we'll just try to run it forward with Isaiah Pacheco. And that's how you need to run, bud. Just get it up. Get it going. Just get it up. I, I take back my words. Um, we're trying. We're trying to win this game right now. And we're trying to to put points on the board. More than five. We will have Nico Collins in the middle of the field. Nico Collins has been good all his time here i guess and we'll have him again quick in the middle and davis mills is really getting this offense going I, I hate to say it but i mean right now is daniel jones better i don't think so right now it looks a little bit more rough as we'll have just three straight plays to nico collins just in the middle of the field they just uh struggling in that part go with a, a misdirection here nico collins getting really involved really early Five receptions, 71 yards. Trayvon Walker will try to bottle up Isaiah Pacheco. Can't exactly do that, but we'll just have the running play to the right side here. Go between Quinn Miners. Get outside. Isaiah Pacheco for fir his first rushing touchdown, I think, in a while. Hasn't really been the guy recently. Uh, kind of just been working with our receivers and quarterbacks, trying to figure out what we're going to do for the future. But I uh, did forget one of the most dependable guys on our team ends up actually being the running back. Much like ETN, Isaiah Pacheco, just uh, out of Rutgers, good receiving back if we need him. All around stud, can do it all pretty well. Uh, but uh, ETN can do it all at a pretty great level, actually. Not really just all that. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. Pacheco and ETN, similar styles. They don't use him as much. We don't use Pacheco, but we, we start to put him to use here the tail end of this season. And I think that that is a good idea as Petrie is going to try to get there. And they need to use ETN more, averaging five per carry after that one going for, I think, 12, maybe 11. Not exact on that one, but I don't know. This one, this one's looking pretty rough here uh for the jags as they have just struggled to bring anything in uh christian harris kind of just lets that happen i guess yeah yeah just not a good game played here by the jags at all see why they are uh three and seven as well i mean sure anyone can say that about us christian harris user interception christian harris might house this one unless etn has something to say about it christian harris into the end zone a pick six. I mean, can you play a better game? He's played a very good season, actually. Not just a good game, but a great season. I mean, he's just played incredibly well all year long. I don't know. He, he looks like one of the best in the league at this point. I think it's safe to say that he's locked himself in a top 10 linebacker position. He just doesn't let anything slide. Kevin Waddle trying to learn from him. Maybe becoming that guy here in not too long, but I, I hate to win this one right here. I hate to say that, but we need draft pick. We need good draft pick. So we I'd hate to win this. I really do. I, I don't like the idea. Jalen Petrie can't get him, and I swear to God that was not on purpose. <laughs> it might have looked like it, but I swear I'm just bad at the game. Alright, you can't you can't blame me for all that. But uh yeah, Christian Harris playing really well Blake Cashman in and Dion Gray as well and Christian Harris was right there involved again but Rasheem Green will just wrap him up after one big play from the rookie receiver Walton uh just carved us up right up the middle um uh, great throw from Mr. Trevor Lawrence and another good pass to Walton but a good pass breakup by Jalen Petrie has played well uh, this season, not anything like on a superstar level, but, I mean, he's played well. And wide open. Jeff Okuda can't make that tackle. Kevin Wald will have to come over and wrap up the rookie as they're starting to get going now. It's looking scary. This uh, Jags offense is super high-powered right now. And Kevin Waddle, Christian Harris is going to try to force a fumble. Does do so on the ground. Rasheem Green. Wow. This is devastating here for for the Jags, but also for us. Losing a good draft pick really, really, really sucks. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Just Harrison Bryant underneath. Uh, since his debut on the, on the team, he hasn't been really impactful. 
Had like three catches, but do find Brevin Jordan underneath. We'll find good yardage there. Resort to the run now, probably, if I had to make a guess. Or we give Anthony Schwartz a chance. Probably won't. Just run it for safe yardage. Uh, tempo offense right now. Do like the way that it is working out. And, dude, why can't you pass it? Davis Mills needs to throw the ball. I snap the ball. I look at the uh, Anthony Schwartz. I wanted to dump it off to him immediately. No doubt in my mind. Looked good. Open. Free. But, uh... Just couldn't end up coming down with that one. Davis Mills will roll out. Will find his receiver on the run. Sammy Watkins. Been really good all season long. Davis Mills showing that uh, he's not done yet. Uh, he wants to keep playing for this team. And if he can keep making plays like that, then yeah, I'm sure, sure he might find a role someday. Um, and back across the body. Isaiah Pacheco just down the middle of the field. Davis Mills, 8 of 12, 97 yards, no touchdowns, but no interceptions. And, uh, yeah, we have a quarterback competition here in Texas, or I guess Houston. Give this one out to A.J. Long, the very good uh, rookie tight end. There is a face mask. He, uh, yeah, he's pretty good, nothing like really special, but, I mean, for a rookie tight end playing in the third tight end role, I think that it doesn't really get much better, if I say so. Uh Damian Pierce into the game, very far and few apart. Uh, him making appearances. Probably had a touchdown right there if we can get a better block from our young offensive lineman. But uh, end up not doing that. So looking now at a fourth and whatever it is and find Nico Collins firing for a touchdown. This one's looking like a Houston Texans win. I do hate winning, dude. I hate it. This is, I mean, it's fun and all, right? I wish we can, I hope we can do this next season against bad teams. But right now, I'm really wanting to tank for that uh, first overall pick. I think we'll have to trade for it regardless. We already have too many wins. I think one team at least will have, like, no wins on the season. Like, I think that's possible for someone to have four wins. So as long as we don't win from here on out, we'll be in contention for a top five pick. Maybe it'd be easier to trade up for it, but we're playing prevent. All right, we're back. But, like, listen... The heating and air guy is here doing uh, repairs and stuff. The the things that heating and air guys do. So if you guys do hear some uh, banging around and stuff, then that's like completely normal and fine for my health. Like I'm not dying or anything. Like that's not me on like a life simulator or whatever. But we are down. Or we're up uh, a lot of points. 19 it looks like. And Kevin, oh wow, what a what a good tackle there from Desmond King. Uh, why are we playing pre? I hate this so much, dude. Like that's just a, hmm, my brain moves too quick to not select it. And Derek Stingley Jr. needs to make a he watches that ball. Watch this. Go back here. Instant replay. All right, so this right here is Derek Stingley Jr. The ball is out of the hands, actually. So the ball leaves now. Derek Singley watches it. And then, and then, right as it's in his hands, goes and tackles. It's just the way things work. Okay, I tried to avoid it that time, but it, it just went into the other other thing. Normally it's X. This one was square. It's a screen. This one's going to work really well. Christian Harris <laughs> just moves his way around the line or the lineman there. I don't know why. I stuttered and paused. Jalen Petrie will come down and play like a, a hybrid linebacker thing. And no one's right there. Dirk Singley Jr. misses a tackle. Kevin Waddle chased down from behind with his good speed. Um, that's why you always draft good speed linebackers. They're always pretty good. Uh, especially in a simulation. Christian Harris trying to get outside. Desmond King trying to do the same. CJ Gardner Johnson. A little bit of a, a better tackle right there than uh, any of the others could have made. We'll go with cover, cover three, Buzz. Russ Blacklock's down as he was playing on that one. Northcutt will actually come in as a, a rush D tackle. Interesting. Waddle just wrapping up Austin Hooper underneath. They'll have to go for a touchdown here on this next play or the play after that. Very unlikely that they won't score. So they do Christian Kirk for his second. And uh, yeah, it'll be our ball. We'll try to run this one down. So their onside kick didn't work. Uh, Mela Fonwu there to make that one uh, work, I guess. I don't know. He, he he recovered it. 
So, all good. Nothing to really worry about. Just moving with the pack here, Isaiah Pacheco. Curious what his numbers are on the game. They're, they're probably not too, too high, but he had a productive game uh, today. And I think that comes in pretty well noticed. Oh, crap. This They're begging for me to pass on this. I'm going to pass. I'm going to throw an interception. Like, almost guarantee it. No. Nico Collins underneath, though. Good for six yards. Kirk Lott. Hopefully he's not out for a while. We could use him by the end of the year. <laughs> uh, Nico Collins, seven catches, seventy-nine yards. Best player or best receiving performance we've seen in a long time from one of our receivers. And I'm not exaggerating. Our quarterback spot has been so unsteady, but uh, with with Davis Mills, obviously, was a little bit more security. He is a higher overall, you could say. But it's just like. One of those things, I guess, where you just don't want to change it too much. Uh, too much change is not good, but like, I'll make the switch every here and there, and I anticipate a, a Daniel Jones start next week. But I, I just don't. I just don't know. That's the thing. The uncertainty in the future really sucks. Fadakasi, his six hundred pound body, trying to tank down Pacheco's, but his legs keep on moving forward. Uh, Sammy Watkins is uncovered and would have been. Oh my goodness. And Corey Weston just couldn't advance his block. It's okay. Still young, still learning. Superstar dev on him. Really fun stuff. Uh, this right here. This looks fun. Uh, I mean, nothing really doing. I have to throw this one out and away. Oh, Harrison Bryant with some extracurricular activity after that play. We'll look at the end zone here. Possibly a Sammy Watkins. No way, it's an interception. I refuse to believe it. Isaiah Pacheco trying to lay out number 39 and Sear Adderley. Just, I mean, what happened there? What happened? We had it all day long. So look, Sammy Watkins is running an out route right here. So number four, Sammy Watkins, if I can ever switch over. So he's going to run into this blank area up here. He's going to run this way. He's right here. Makes his cut. Has to come back to the ball. A bad throw, I guess. I guess it's due right there. I, I, that's the situation. Uh, we want to get up closer to the quarterback if we're going to be blitzing. And Desmond King and Bobby Biddle uh, combining there for, for the, uh, the tackle right there. Trying to get into the quarterback. Bobby Biddle! Can't get there. Russ Blacklock off the edge. Does get there. Oh my lord. Bobby Biddle was close to getting his first career sack. Or maybe a second. I can't remember if he got a sack earlier. Yeah, let's let's look at the stats here. These stats are probably atrocious. Both sides, I mean, pretty good. Pretty bad sometimes. But uh, yeah, Davis Mills, unwarranted interception. Uh, I don't know. Bad throws. Bad things happen. But like, it's a very unlucky interception. That one should have just fallen on incomplete. If anything, it's just a good contested catch from Sammy Watkins. 204 passing yards, 100 rushing yards. Did get our achievement done at 300 yards on the on the thing. Uh, did they had three takeaways? We had two turnover. We had three turnovers. They had two. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the player stats here. Trevor Lawrence, Davis Mills played well up to that interception. Uh, went 11 of 16, I'd assume. 112 and an, a touchdown. And then with the interception, 11 of 17, 64% completion percentage. One interception. And then rushing. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco did his job on the ground. 17 attempts for 88 yards. Five per carry. Two touch or One touchdown. And then Nico Collins had his two, and Daniel Jones had seven, and Damian Pierce had three. So, interesting. And then, like I said, best game from one of our receivers in a long time. Nico Collins finally finding some security. Uh, been really good for us um, all series long. He just has his moments. He doesn't really have that many games. He went on a stretch where he had, like, three games with crazy good numbers, like two touchdowns per and he was looking at like 100 yards and he was just going off. But didn't end up actually like translating into anything huge. Adjusted the sliders and now we've just been struggling to get any wide receiver one going. So that'll do. Uh, we'll go back to the main menu now.
did get 300 plus offensive yards, allowed 24 points or less. 13 staff points on the day is pretty good. al Qadeen Muhammad right here. Our rush end has been okay for us. 79 power moves. We'll just upgrade power rushers. That is his sheer role on this defense is just to rush the passer. 81 power moves is pretty good. Christian Harris with an upgrade, rightfully so. He's been so electric for us all season long. We'll upgrade run stopper. That will put him up to a 78 with morale. Playing like one of the best linebackers in the league. Isaiah Pacheco, also an upgrade, rightfully so. 93 speed, 96 uh, acceleration, 82 break tackles. Pretty good for him. But I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade power back as he's just kind of working his way into that role anyways. Um, been super good, up to 83 break tackle. So what's really been his strength is playing uh, like three yards per carry minimum. Uh, whether then there's Damian Pierce, that's either boom or bust kind of guy, but whatever uh pacheco's just played a little bit better this season damian pierce was just not cutting it for me on these new sliders it's also pretty difficult but do have a really tough matchup with the cincinnati Bengals, and i'm guessing that this is gonna be christian harris nine tackles an interception a forced fumble and a touchdown take note of that here i'll, I'll move my face cam so you guys can see it just a tad bit better like like check check this out I, I know the video's on black screen. All right, chill out. But Christian Harris, nine tackles, one INT, one forced fumble, and a touchdown. Very good numbers. But yeah, that'll do it for me. We'll look at the, the, the picture here for the playoffs and kind of just cap it off while you guys take a good look at that. The bottom right matchup is New York Giants and the Carolina Panthers. I know you guys can't see that, so I'll just let you guys know. So yeah, Packers in that one seed, KC Chiefs in that one seed as well, and then the rest is kind of up for grabs right now. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. It does mean a lot, especially if you watch to this point. I know I don't get too many viewers or too many views or too many subscribers, but it doesn't matter. I still enjoy making this content, and hopefully you guys have come to enjoy the content that I make. Uh, therefore, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. It helps out with the algorithm just a little bit more. And then uh, subscribe. It does help, and I do appreciate it a ton. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.